posterior triangle of the neck. The posterior triangle is a space in the side of the neck situated behind the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Boundaries. It is bound anteriorly by the posterior border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Posteriorly, it is bound by the anterior border of the trapezius muscle. The inferior border or base is formed by the middle one-third of the clavicle. The apex lies on the superior nuchal line where the trapezius and the sternocleidomastoid muscles meet. The roof is formed by the investing layer of the deep cervical fascia. The superficial fascia over the posterior triangle contains the platysma muscle, the external jugular and posterior external jugular veins, parts of the supraclavicular, great auricular, transverse cutaneous and lesser occipital nerves are parts of the superficial fascia covering the posterior triangle. Unnamed arteries derived from the occipital, transverse cutaneous and suprascapular arteries along with lymph vessels which pierce the deep fascia to end in the supraclavicular nodes all are seen in the superficial fascia covering the posterior triangle. The floor of the posterior triangle is formed by the prevertebral layer of the deep cervical fascia covering the following muscles. The splenius capitus, the levator scapulae, the scalenus medius, and the semispinalis capitus muscles which all form part of the floor of the posterior triangle. Division of the posterior triangle. It is subdivided by the inferior belly of the omohyoid muscle into a large upper part called the occipital triangle and a smaller lower part called the supraclavicular or the subclavian triangle. Contents of the posterior triangle. The contents are classified under the occipital triangle and the subclavian triangle. The occipital triangle contains nerves like the spinal accessory nerve, four cutaneous branches of the cervical plexus, namely the lesser occipital nerve, the great auricular nerve, the anterior cutaneous nerve of the neck, and the supraclavicular nerves. Certain muscular branches are also given off in this triangle. They are two small branches to the levator scapulae muscle, two small branches to the trapezius muscle, and the nerve to rhomboid. The vessels that pass in this triangle include the transverse cervical artery and vein and the occipital artery. Along the posterior border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle, more in the lower part, the supraclavicular nodes and a few at the upper angle, the occipital nodes, are located. Contents of the subclavian triangle. The subclavian triangle contains nerves, vessels, and lymph nodes. The nerves include the roots and trunks of the brachial plexus, nerve to serratus anterior muscle, nerve to subclavius muscle, and the suprascapular nerve. The vessels include the third part of the subclavian artery and subclavian vein, the suprascapular artery and vein, the commencement of the transverse cervical artery, and the termination of the corresponding vein also occurs within this triangle. The lower part of the external jugular vein can also be seen within the subclavian triangle. Few nodes of the supraclavicular chain can also be found in this triangle. That concludes our video on the posterior triangle of the neck.